All right, welcome back. And this week we are doing the top 10 most inspiring movies for men's fashion. Now I had to keep it to 10 because this could easily get out of control. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just pick out some movies. No, first of all, you either get way too big of a list, which that's what I was doing, but also initially, I, I actually reached out to some of my friends and just guys that I know, and I asked them this question and they weren't quick to answer. They were like, oh, um, I don't know. And I think that's because we do not look at men's fashion movies that closely. Like if you type in top most inspiring like fashion movies, the first thing that's gonna come up is like Breakfast at Tiffany's and it's gonna be mostly women's movies. So I hope this inspires you to look at like movies in a little different way and also make you think of, oh, okay, that's a really good movie to watch for fashion. I also know I missed a lot of really, really cool movies out there. This is definitely something that is specific to each person and is very subjective. So please hit me in the comments below and any movie that you find inspiring because I love that. I love finding other movies that other people find that are very fashion related and make them think outside the box or just make you inspired to wear something that you normally wouldn't wear or, you know, validate what you are wearing, right? Before I get into that list, my name is Timothy Sands and this is Fashionable Father. If you're one of the lucky early subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, I present content to inspire men to present their best selves. If that intrigues you, subscribe if you're so inclined. All right, so this list is counting down from 10 to one. And number 10 is Gattaca. That's right. This movie, I remember when I first saw it, I don't even know if I loved the story. I just kept watching it for its suits. I love Ethan Hawke's like double-breasted kind of hankers back to the 40s but the movie is very very modern so it has this sleek modernism to it and it still to this day when i look at it and jude law's in it of course and he looks fantastic and wears some great outfits even uma thurman looks amazing and when they're at the ball you know when they're at parties and all that such anyways great movie totally inspires you it makes you think oh i could wear a suit on the daily so that's number 10 gattaca all right, coming in at number nine is All the President's Men. If you have not seen this movie, you owe it to yourself to see it. It's a fantastic movie. It's about journalism in the 70s, the whole Watergate thing. But yeah, that thing, these two guys in it, it's uh, Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. I'm not even a huge fan of corduroy, but these guys will make you want to wear corduroy. But I think what I love about this movie mostly, and you know me, I like vocation fashion. I like fashion that you put to work, that you wear for work. I mean, they're using their notepads. It makes you want to be a journalist. It makes you want to dress like a journalist. Their ties are loose. They look like they're working in their clothes and they're using them for a specific use. The, the uh, notebooks in their pockets, they're always bringing them out. They're doing their journalism. They're doing their research. It's just, I love that kind of fashion and I love that these this kind of gritty journalism story to me actually evokes a lot of fashion. Some people might disagree with that one, but that's what I love about it. It will totally inspire you to wear some corduroy, especially corduroy sports jackets. So number nine is All the President's Men. Okay, so number eight, I went rogue on this one. And I know some people are gonna be, what? But number eight is Lords of Dogtown. That's right. If you've watched some of my, my if you have watched some of my videos in the past, you know I love SoCal Surfer Vibe. I love that whole look. And I feel like Lords of Dogtown totally captures this. You know, I know it's a skater movie, but it is totally set in Southern Cal and Venice Beach. And I know they have their shirts off quite often, but their whole, their, their shoes, the way they rock their vans, the pants that they're wearing. And of course, again, all this fashion is used in the field and in their sport and what they're doing. So I love that. And I love the vibe that it carries and I love the look that it carries. And so, yes, I totally think Lords of Dogtown is in my top 10 list for fashion movies. Some of you might disagree, but I love it. And I think you can be totally inspired by that specific look, you know, and take something with you. So number eight is Lords of Dogtown. Okay, number seven is Crazy Stupid Love. That's right, I had to put it in there because I don't think, and maybe I've missed on modern movies recently, but I don't think I have seen a man dressed that well in a modern movie as well as Ryan Gosling did 
in this. It's one of those movies that m inspires you to be a better man and dress better. And again, Gosling looks amazing in this thing. His suits, his casual wear, his glasses, he wears some awesome rings in it. Everything that he wears in this movie fits him. He wears it well, he wears it with poise. Again, I can't gush over how well he looked in this. And, it, and tell me if I'm wrong, is there other movies right now, modern movies, that are doing it that well, right? I, and, I, and I know I'm, I don't have my ear to the ground on everything, so please tell me if I missed, but there's not too many movies, especially in today's time, that have that good a dressed man in it, right? So number seven is Crazy Stupid Love. Number six on my list is the talented Mr. Ripley. That's right, actually, to tell you the truth, I was told this movie by a friend and I had totally forgotten about it because it wasn't my favorite movie. If you've seen it, it's a pretty dark story, but I remember, and obviously watching it again, oh my goodness, Jude Law looks amazing in this movie. Like he just captures that, you know, rich guy in Italy, you know, living off his parents' money, but has all the right clothes. And you know, Jude Law is another one like Ryan Gosling. He knows how to wear his clothes. He wears it well. He looks good in it. He looks good in everything he wears in the movie. Even Philip Seymour Hoffman, who plays his friend, looks really good in the suits. It's got, obviously it's set in 1950s, so it's got kind of this 50s vibe, where that, you know, cliffside Italian city and just embrace that style and look good doing it. Anyways, yeah, talented Mr. Ripley coming in at number six. Very, very good one. Totally gonna inspire you. All right, coming in at number five is the man from Uncle. That's right, Guy Ritchie. I mean, Guy Ritchie, it was actually pretty hard to choose from that and Snatch, right? Um, I love that whole British feel that he just captured in Snatch. But Man From U.N.C.L.E., especially with it being a little more modern, I love the style in that movie in general. I like that they have this opposing, like, you know, Russian and American, and the American looks amazing in suits. I mean, obviously, Henry Cavill pulls it off quite well. And, yeah, and then they even look good when they're doing the heist. Guy Ritchie always makes his people look so good and so relaxed in their clothes. So, yeah, Man From U.N.C.L.E., totally get inspired by the clothes in that get inspired by the actually everything in that as far as style and and fashion so coming in at number five man from uncle number four on my list it had to be a wes anderson it was actually hard for me to pick but of course the royal tannenbaums right now i know some of you are going what that's just a bunch of you know weird costumes on people but you gotta admit royal tannenbaums you want to dress like these people I got Belgian shoes specifically because I wanted some slipper that the Owen Wilson character was wearing. Um, gosh, I should even know his name. I don't know his name. But yeah, the, the uh, oh gosh, what is he? Anyways, the Owen Wilson character is fantastic in that movie. I love everything he's wearing. That, that whole cowboy chic look and the, those pants were amazing. Obviously slightly cropped and he can show his socks and he's wearing practically Belgian shoes. I don't know, they were a, basically a slipper, but yeah, it was fantastic outfit. And I love all the costumes in it. I even like what Gene Hackman's wearing. I love what Luke Wilson is wearing. Everything that all the people that, and how they're costumed in that movie just make you go, hey, I think I could wear that on a daily basis. No, you probably wouldn't, but it inspires you to want to take a piece from that and wear something of that sort. I'm telling you, that's the reason why I bought Belgian shoes. So yeah, that rates right up there because I just think Wes Anderson inspires us all to look a little better and present like something very specific about ourselves. And that's what I'm about here, you know? So coming in at number four is Royal Tannenbaums. Coming in at number three is American in Paris. That's right, a big studio musical. Of course, the costumes are gonna be amazing. This thing was made in 1951. And every time I have it on, and I know exactly the first time I watched it, I was like, I wanna be an artist. I wanna dress like an artist and be an artist in Paris. The thing is, Gene Kelly just looks fantastic in that artist outfit, especially the first uh, beginning of the movie when he's wearing in these cropped cream pants and that, that cream sweater, and he's wearing that little cap and he's wearing these loafers and it's just, oh, it just looks so good and it looks like he wears it on a daily because he's an artist and he obviously wears it with elegance because he's a dancer and it, it just it makes you want to dress better again as a man and take some of that and run with it and it makes you want to embrace the romance right it makes you want to embrace this this artistic creative romance and, and i just love that and every time i watch it i'm always inspired by the clothes in it 
So coming in at number three is American in Paris. Number two is The Great Gatsby. That's right. I mean, come on. Baz Luhrmann killed it with that movie. Everything that is on every single character, especially the men, looks fantastic. Tobey Maguire looks fantastic. And I actually mentioned this in my live stream earlier, but that I know some people complained that he modernized the 20s. And it isn't. It is definitely not the 20s fashion. I feel like he made it way more tailored. He made it way more modern. But that's what I love about that movie. Because in a sense, that's what we can actually wear today. We can take those items, wear them today, look good in them. Remember Leonardo DiCaprio's that cream suit? I think it even has a little pink in it. If you watch um, on a certain TVs, you can see it later. But it's just, it looks so good on him and the colors and the balance. And and even when he's wearing the, the I don't know, the beige sweater and that kind of relaxed sailor look that he wears when he's hanging out with, uh, uh, what's the love interest? Anyways, I, this is about fashion, it's not about characters. I love that movie uh, for its fashion. I could just put it on in the background and watch them walking around in those amazing clothes that I would love to wear. I would love to have all those clothes wearing them on a daily basis. So highly inspiring, fantastic movie. Thank you, Baz Luhrmann, for giving us that. It's form and it's function and it's fantastic clothes. Number two, Great Gatsby. The number one movie that most inspired me for men's fashion is To Catch a Thief. You know it. If you've been watching my channel, I love myself some Cary Grant. And come on, the French Riviera. He takes advantage of all the outfits you can wear in that era. He's wearing a suit with an amazing ascot underneath it while they're running around in a convertible. Loafers on with no socks because it's the French Riviera. Some amazing wool pants, striped, uh, a striped sweater or shirt, long sleeve shirt, and then a, and of course a cravat underneath the neck. I mean, come on, like who doesn't want to look like that? Who doesn't want to wear clothes like that and wear them that well and look that good? As someone who's like, you know, running across the roof trying to escape people. It's, it just looks good. It's, it hankers back to that, you know, golden age. And I think it was at that moment when I watched that movie, especially, you know, that movie specifically that I was like, you don't have to be beholden to any era. You, you can wear what you want to wear. This stuff is timeless. And, and if you want to wear it, and if you're confident in wearing it and you make it look good, go wear it. And, and that's what I think fashion should be. Fashion should not be something that we're beholden to a trend or beholden to a specific time or, you know, told to us by a company what we should wear. You can wear what you want. And, 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 you know, that's what I also want you to do for me is hit me in the comments, tell me the movies that inspire you and make you think, this is what I want to wear. I'm not going to wear what everybody else wears, right? So I hope that helps. I hope that inspires you. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you've been watching this long, you got to give me a like, right? My name is Timothy Sands. This is my story of fashion and fatherhood. If you did like this video, I think you'll like this video right here. It has to do with my top five fashionable cities. That's right. I actually rattled those off too. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying. And always remember, style first. See you on the flip side. Mwah!